this is Microsoft HoloLens. Um, so this is an augmented reality headset. And so if I put it on, it will let me see a model that's floating in front of space, or f floating in space in front of me right now. Um, so now that I have it on, there's a model of Orion in front of me, and there's a number of sensors that are on the front right here, and these let me interact with the geometry. Um, so it recognizes hand gestures. So as I click, it can see that I'm clicking. Um, it knows what I'm clicking on. There's a cursor in the middle of my view. And after I do that, um, I can also um, walk around the model. And so if I were to walk around, it would know where it is in space. Um, so it's fixed in space, and it's mapping the room constantly. And so as it maps the room, it knows where I placed it initially. And as I walk around, it knows where I am. And so I can actually um, see different sides of the model as if I were walking around something physical. So it recognizes gestures, first of all. Um, so this click gesture that I make, that is how you interact with most of the models. Um, so I can play the animation that's shown here. I can also run through a couple different configurations. Um, and these are built into the model itself. And so as I run through these different configurations, I can actually um, interact with the model. I can walk up close to it and see where it is. Um, the sensors on the front of the HoloLens are constantly tracking the room that I'm in. And so it knows where this model is fixed in space um, with respect to where I put it. So as I walk around it, it will stay fixed there. So we're in our 3D immersive cave system and we're looking at the InSight model. So InSight is a Mars lander that has a mission to, to, to drill into the Martian um, surface and we'll be you know, launching this in 2018. But uh, what the, the cave allows us to do is we can see this model in a, in a full scale. Uh, immersive way. Um, so Eric and Christian here are with me and we're sort of just sort of reviewing uh, the layout of, of uh, the design of the, the, the spacecraft here. Um, and we see different portions of the system. We see parts of the propulsion system and some of the um, boxes that control the guidance and navigation of the spacecraft. Um, so with uh, the cave, we are able to sort of look at the engineering design and look for sort of improvements. Um, and there's a number of sensors on the front of it that allow me to interact with the augmented models that are out in front of me. Yeah, so what have you, what you been doing here? I'm the uh, production control manager for the FAD. Okay. So responsible for all the uh, <coughs> planning of everything that's supposed to happen in this building, as well as driving uh, completion dates so we're, we're able to...
boxes, you know, making sure that uh, the technicians are going to have enough space um, in order to get to and install these components um, in the installation of, of these various components. Can you show me how you pick something up again? Yeah, so as we're trying to, you know, uh, look at how different things might be installed, if we want to sort of you know, get things out of our way or see things out of our position, uh, we can use this controller to, to pick up and, and move. So at Lockheed Martin, you know, we see the hollow ones, uh, you know, being a tremendous benefit in terms of improving um, uh, the speed and quality at which we can do our work. So the ability to put all the information that a technician has to reference in building a, a satellite or a spacecraft or, um, the, you know, the other products that we build here, uh, the, the ability for them to have that information available in the hollow ends and guide them through the instructions of putting uh, to, together a product is, is going to have a tremendous advantage. So the HoloLens is a, a device um, um, that's a little bit different from virtual reality whereas when you put on the device you see the real world and then you see a hologram floating in that real world space. And so we see a number of applications for the Microsoft HoloLens. Um, one of those is on the production floor where we're able to give the HoloLens to a technician. Uh, they can wear that device and that can guide them through an assembly procedure uh, on the shop floor. Uh, another way we envision using the HoloLens is as a technician is wearing that, he could tie in a remote expert and that expert could see what that person is seeing through the HoloLens. They could do holographic markup in, in their view space. They could communicate with that technician. And so that's a way um, to sort of efficiently get help in real time as they're working on the shop floor. So in virtual reality, when you put a headset on, you're completely closed out from the real space and everything you see is a virtual representation um, uh, that you're in. In augmented reality, you still see the real world, but then you have the 3D, uh, let's say, holograms floating around in real space. Once you've actually got the product on the shop floor and you're, and you're building it, that's the sweet spot for augmented reality. I think, uh, you know, virtual reality and augmented reality play into this idea of Industry 4.0 and sort of automating and sort of digitizing how we do our work. So it's, it's the ability to uh, more easily present complex sets of information to people. And virtual reality and augmented reality, you know, help, uh, help present that information to the people who need it at the right time um, in the right format that they can use it. And so in terms of uh, efficiencies and uh, getting a complex set of information to people in a way they can understand at the time that they need it, uh, these technologies are, are tremendous in, in that effort.